In our article, we study the collective interference of bosons and fermions. The two-photon experiment by Hongu and Mandel is thereby generalized to a scheme for many bosons and fermions, giving a rich landscape of interference patterns. Surprisingly, although bosons and fermions obey different statistics, they can exhibit very similar interference. But to begin with, how can particles interfere collectively? Foreseeing that will let two particles fall onto the two input modes of a beam splitter. As a reference point, let's see what happens for two distinguishable particles, which cannot interfere collectively. To find exactly one particle in each output mode, both particles need to be transmitted or reflected. The probabilities of these distinguishable processes are added. To find two particles in one mode, one particle is reflected, the other one is transmitted. The event probabilities for identical particles are different, due to collective interference. Let's start with two fermions. The particles cannot end in the same output mode, due to the Pauli principle. In turn, the two processes with both particles transmitted or reflected are now indistinguishable and interfere constructively. There is always one fermion in each output mode. For bosons, that interference is destructive, one never finds one boson per mode. Bosons instead bunch and end up in the same mode. That is precisely the hongo mandel effect, which is the standard procedure to ensure the indistinguishability of photons. Also for many particles, we would like to establish clear signatures for bosonic and fermionic behavior, for example, to characterize single photon sources. Moreover, we just saw that two bosons and two fermions exhibit opposed signatures, but does this remain true for many particles? Finally, can we distinguish many particle interference from incoherent statistical behavior? We investigate these questions with the help of multiport beam splitters. Combining several elementary beam splitters in a pyramid like construction, one can build a device with arbitrarily many input and output modes. As an example, let's investigate 5 boson interference. There are 16 states of 5 bosons. All particles may be in one mode, in some distribution over the modes, or all in different modes. These states are also the possible output configurations. We plot the transition probability from an input to an output state for bosons, as compared to distinguishable particles. The color code indicates constructive or destructive bosonic interference. In general, bosons favor final states with many particles per mode on the left-hand side of the plot. However, there are also exceptions to this rule. The strongest interference pattern emerges when the particles are evenly distributed over the input modes. In order to compare bosons to fermions, let's prepare three particles in a nine-mode beam splitter and consider only states with at most one particle per mode. These states are possible for both bosons and fermions. There are seven inequivalent ways to distribute the particles among the modes. That is the resulting interference pattern for fermions and for bosons. Rather strikingly, some events are fully suppressed by destructive interference for bosons in the very same way as they are for fermions. In our article, we treat general many-particle scattering setups that describe, for example, the interference of photons and of ultra-cold atoms. We formulate a suppression law that allows us to characterize the indistinguishability of many particles in a particular setup. We also discuss why many-particle interference is widely species-independent and how the familiar statistical behavior of bosons and fermions eventually emerges when the coherence of the initial state is lost.